going to run you through um, Egresso and the setting up of a, um, a requisition which will be turned into a purchase order. Um, so to start with, um, I'm going to go to the procurement tab. I'm going to go to the requis requisitions of find the screen. And the first thing you're going to notice is that that three tabs open up. So we've got requisition entry, requisition details and product explorer. And I'll go through each one of these in, in turn. So requisition entry screen is effectively the header for the purchase order that we're going to create. So the requisitioner is one of the things that we're going to change. Um, that will become the shopper. So the shopper's name will go in there. So mine's defaulted in Stein Fenton. But we're also somewhere along this header. I'm not quite sure where it will fit yet because when we design it. But we will have the requester's name and details to go onto this header screen so that they can be going out on the purchase order. So at the moment, the requisitioner is me and that's a shopper, Diane Fenton. Against my user in Agresso, I have defaulted in a work order. So it says whenever I'm going to raise a requisition, I'm always going to use this work order. It can be overwritten. So if I wanted to do shopping on behalf of another work order or cost centre, I can change it here. It's also defaulted in the delivery address. And again, that's come against my user ID. This can be deleted and it's a free format. So it's not a drop down menu. You just type in the address that you want this, the goods and services to be delivered to. On this header, we've also got the del delivery date and that will default in today's date. So if you wanted it to be purchased, uh, delivered in three weeks time, you would change the date by clicking on this calendar here and you would be able to see the date that you wanted it to be delivered. If I go to the requisition details screen, this is where I start to fill in my requisition that will become a purchase order to say these are the goods I wish to buy. There are several ways of finding that product. So for the moment, I'll go to this product explorer tab. And this opens up a product catalogue which is built around a hierarchy. A bit like Windows options where you can choose by clicking on the folder and it opens up other folders. And if you click on the folder again, on this right hand side, you will see it's opened up all the products that belong to that particular category within the catalogue. So for here, we only have one option, one product that's available. So I can click this button here, here that says, I want to add that to my requisition. So if I click on the button and I go back to my requisition details, you can see that it will have populated that on this line here. So the product is defaulted in as has the description. I can choose a supplier. So when you see a little blue box like this, it means that I'm able to search. So I can search by various methods. I can start typing in a code. So it will give me details of people that match anything beginning with one zero. Or I can start typing in the word. So if I put SAN, it's brought that Sunpack service station which is what I will choose for this example. The next step is the del delivery date. And remember, this is defaulted in from the header, but it can be changed at line detail. I can also change the quantity. So it will default one in, but I can change it to whatever quantity I wish. I'm going to leave it at one. And I, the currency I skipped over because it's in sterling. Uh, and the price... I can choose what price I want to pay for this. Let's say in this instance, I want to pay £500. In this detailed information here, if I click on this, it opens up another box about the product text. So I'm just going to put test data in here. But this is going to go out onto the purchase order. And it is an area where you can put as much information as you wish about the product that you're going to buy. So you can put additional information in to make it more meaningful to the supplier. If I click on the GL analysis, 
This is where all the accounting entries, the coding takes place. It will have taken the nominal code or the account code from the product that I've purchased. So that belongs to this particular account code. The work order defaulted in from that front screen, but I could have changed it. And that has defaulted in the project and cost center. So there's an account rule behind this that says whenever you use this particular account code, I wish you to populate the project and the cost center. In this example, they are the same, but in reality, they will be different. So the work order and project will be different and the cost center um, may be different from the work order. So at this point, all I've done is enter my product, entered my supplier, what quantity I want and the price. I don't have to do anything further. If I hit save, this will give me a requisition number to say that my requisition has been saved. So in this instance, it's 192, ending in 192. The other way I can choose product, instead of using Product Explorer, I can actually click in the product field here and start typing. So if I start typing 1010, it brings back all the product codes that will start with 1010. And I can choose from there. Alternatively, I can start typing something in. So if I type in a chiller, because that's what I want, it brings up back the, the product code. I just click on it, and then it's populated that product and the information behind it. So it's telling me on this occasion that I have supplier in already, and that supplier is number seven, and I've got contract information. And depending on what contract you choose, will then determine which supplier you can use. And sometimes they will be fixed suppliers, other times you may be able to choose. So on this occasion, it's I put in a chiller, it's told me it's on a contract, it's told me that I can't purchase it from anybody other than supplier seven. So the only information I need to do to this time is to say how many do I want and what value do I need.